So I'm here with Val today. Uh, Val is our master beauty therapist from Intune Beauty Therapy at the Gap. So Val, you've been coming now for what, two years? Two years, yes. Yeah. So what, describe where you were at, do you think, body-wise, two years ago? Two years ago, I had knees that were um, severely damaged from being in the gym. I, uh, I was told I had to have knee operations. Um, and I didn't want to have knee operations and mm. I was overweight. I was 76 kilos um, and I just wanted to do some stretch yoga but I didn't really know very much about it and now I know a lot about it because of Anne. What kind because of pain <laughs> were you in do you feel? Your oh I was in a lot of pain. My hips hurt, my knees hurt, um, I had uh, lower back problems, mm. you know, so it wasn't it wasn't very comfortable, and all of it was because I wasn't moving. You know, isn't that the thing? How we have to just keep on moving. I remember Val would come into the class. You couldn't even put your knee down. No, I you couldn't put your on knee my on the all. floor. No, I couldn't. Mm. I couldn't do all that kneeling on one knee thing and balancing. It. I just fell over, and yeah. I had to support myself with my hands all the time. Yeah, yeah. I, I, couldn't I know you were being very, very careful. Yeah. Where do you think you're at now? Like when you come to yoga class, what do you feel you can do now? Oh, anything except stand on my head. I'm getting there. <laughs> She's getting there. We're getting. <laughs> standing on a head. Um, I, uh, I, I can kneel on my knees, I can balance, I can stay perfectly still mm. without moving at all. I have no pain in my hips, I have no pain in my knees anymore. Um, my lower back very rarely feels uncomfortable and I haven't had to go to the chiropractor half as much. Gosh. And this is all because I have stretched, stretched all my muscles and um, and lost some weight. And uh, You've lost a lot of weight actually. I've really. lost 10 kilos. She's you look and so do you feel like you've reversed aging to a degree oh hell, you've hell yeah rolled back the yeah. odometer as we rolled speak it all rolled back. it right back I'm here you even for look the, amazing um thank you i'm here for the long term i want to uh i'd like to go well past 100 and 100 maybe we've got the ability now don't we i don't see why not and mm. if we eat well and and move well and um take care of our bodies as a machine i can't see why not yeah and uh, the question I want I asking a lot of women, what is your, what would your number one concern about ageing be, and what do you feel that you need to do or are doing to reverse that ageing? Well, the first thing is not to sit down and think, "Woe is me, I'm old now," because mm. you're not, especially these days. Um, I had a great aunt who lived on the top of a Welsh mountain until she was 92. Uh. She had no running water and no electricity, so she had to get water from the pump and she had to use gas lanterns and all the rest of it. Now, she was fit, you know, because she had <coughs> to be fit. Wow. We don't do that anymore. We sit a lot. We yeah. don't move as much. Um, we, we probably eat the wrong foods. Uh, we're not active. Uh, I want to be active. and. The the only thing that worries me is is not being active either mentally or physically ever. I think you have to yeah. push your boundaries a little bit and you do have to push them when, when you do feel uncomfortable hmm. as well. You yeah. know, not just because Yes, true. Even it's when you're scary. feeling even it's when you're feeling oh miserable yeah, it's scary to do that. And when it hurts, move, you think, you? ouch, that hurts and you think, well it won't hurt next time. You have to keep telling yourself that even if you don't mm. feel it at the time. You might, uh, you might sort I, of... I don't believe there's any condition out there that movement doesn't help no, no. in some way. It's amazing. It moves the limbs, so it do stretches you, the muscles. So right. mm. Do you feel you're doing now what you should be doing in order to age incredibly well? Is there anything else that you want to fit in or do um, you feel you're doing it now? I could probably do a few weights, just, just gentle weights, just to get a bit of muscle um, balance up. But really, I'm still quite strong, even mm. though... Even though I'm just doing stretch yoga and yoga with you, yeah. um, I, I'm not sort of um, doing weights now, but I'm still physically fit and yeah. I'm, I'm quite happy with the way things are. Um, I'm learning better eating techniques, Beautiful. better eating habits. Mm -hmm. um, I've cut out all sugar, a few less carbohydrates, or eating the right carbohydrates yeah, so they don't spike your blood sugar is yeah. a good thing to do. Yeah. I just invest in everybody, everybody is different. Yeah, not true. Just everybody, and but not the, the one thing doesn't always <laughs> no. work for everybody, hey? And, and working your way through things too. Like if you, if, if you do have something, think, okay, well, I'll take this magnesium for a while and see how I go. And monitor 
mentally monitor how your body is working. You'd be aware of your body and how it's mm. feeling. Mm. So do, over the two years, say, that Val's been coming now, coming to yoga, how, so do you, would you recommend this kind of movement for oh, ageing women? How, to everybody. I would how's recommend... How's it like it's affected your body? Well, I, I think it's affected my body in as much as, you know, it was uncomfortable for me to sit like this a while back, but it's not uncomfortable now. Admittedly, I haven't had hip replacements, and that is a, that is a you know, a bit of a challenge for some people who have. However, mm. you know, I know a friend of mine who has had a hip replacement mm. who's doing amazingly well with mm. stretch. So stretching moves your muscles, stretching moves your head, mm. moves your mind. Mm. Um, it, it moves the lymph, which is the most important. Yeah, it is, isn't it? We don't that have circulation, a part to pump lymph. the lymph, only, only yeah. stretching or movement moves lymph. Yeah. And lymph can get sort of a little bit sludgy certain places. So, yeah, again. you know, drinking lots of water and getting that going. So, yeah, I do, I do feel a lot better now than I did two years ago. And she looks amazing. <laughs>